Barentia is defined today as the land and maritime area bounded on the west by the Lena River in Russia, on the east by the Mackenzie River in Canada, on the north by 72 degrees north latitude in the Chachi Sea, and on the south by the tip of the Kamchatka Peninsula. It includes the Chachi Sea, the Bering Sea, the Bering Strait, the Chachi and Kamchatka Peninsulas in Russia as well as Alaska in the United States. The area includes land lying on the North American Plate and Siberian land east of the Chersky Range. Historically, it formed a land bridge that was up to 1,000 kilometers wide at its greatest extent and which covered an area as large as British Columbia and Alberta together. This land bridge connected Asia and North America at various times during the Quaternary Glaciation. The term Beringia was coined by the Swedish botanist Erik Hultane in 1937. During the Ice Ages, Beringia, like most of Siberia and all of north and northeast China, was not glaciated because snowfall was very light. It was a grassland steppe, including the land bridge, that stretched for hundreds of kilometers into the continents on either side. It is believed that of small human population of it most a few thousand arrived in Beringia from eastern Siberia during the last glacial maximum. Before before expanding into the settlement of the Americas sometime after 16,500 years ago during the late glacial maximum as the American glaciers, blocking the way southward melted. But before the bridge was covered by the sea about 11,000 years before present, before European colonization, Berengia was inhabited by the Yupik peoples on both sides of the straits. This culture remains in the region today along with others. In 2012, the governments of Russia and the United States announced a plan to formally establish a transboundary area of shared Berenshian heritage. Among other things this agreement would establish close ties between the Bering Land Bridge National Preserve and the Cape Crows and Stern National Monument in the United States and the planned Berenshian National Park in Russia. Geography During the last glacial period, enough of the Earth's water became frozen in the great ice sheets covering North America and Europe to cause a drop in sea levels. For thousands of years the sea floors of many interglacial shallow seas were exposed, including those of the Bering Strait, the Chachi Sea to the north, and the Bering Sea to the south. Other land bridges around the world have emerged and disappeared in the same way. Around 14,000 years ago, mainland Australia was linked to both New Guinea and Tasmania. The British Isles became an extension of continental Europe via the dry beds of the English Channel and North Sea, and the dry basin of the South China Sea linked Sumatra, Java and Borneo to Indochina. The rise and fall of global sea levels in several periods of the Pleistocene era submerged and exposed the bridging landmass between Asia and North America. The Beringian land bridge is believed to have been exposed both during the glacial period that occurred before 35,000 BP and during the more recent period 22,000-17,000 years BP. The strait reopened about 15,500 BP and by about 11,000 years BP the coastlines were close to the present configurations. Post-glacial rebound has continued to raise some sections of coast. The ice-free heartland of Beringia served as a giant ecological refugium during maximal glaciation for those tundra plants that could survive its wind-swept Arctic desert conditions. But Beringia constantly transformed its ecosystem as the changing climate affected the environment, determining which plants and animals were able to survive. The land mass could be a barrier as well as a bridge. During colder periods, glaciers advanced and precipitation levels dropped. During warmer intervals, clouds, rain and snow altered soils and drainage patterns. Fossil remains show that spruce, birch and poplar once grew beyond the northernmost range today, indicating that there were periods when the climate was warmer and wetter. 
The environmental conditions were not homogeneous in Beringia. Recent stable isotope studies of woolly mammoth bone collagen demonstrate that western Beringia was colder and drier than eastern Beringia, which were more ecologically diverse. Mastodons, which depended on shrubs for food, were uncommon in the open dry tundra landscape characteristic of Beringia during the colder periods. In this tundra, mammoths flourished instead. The extinct pine species Pinus mathusi has been described from Pliocene sediments in the Yukon areas of the refugium. Human habitation. The Bering Land Bridge is a postulated route of human migration to the Americas from Asia about 20,000 years ago. An open corridor through the ice-covered North American Arctic was too barren to support human migrations before around 12,600 years ago. A study has indicated that of the people who migrated across this land bridge at that time, only 70 left their genetic imprint on modern descendants, which is known as a founder effect. Seagoing coastal settlers may also have crossed much earlier, but there is no scientific consensus on this point, and the coastal sites that would offer further information now lie submerged in up to a hundred meters of water offshore. Land animals migrated through Berenger as well, introducing to North America species that had evolved in Asia, mammals such as proboscideans and American lions, which evolved into a now extinct endemic North American species, and allowing equids and camelids that had evolved in North America to migrate to Asia. A study published in 2007 suggests that the Bering Land Bridge migration occurred 12,000 years ago, that every human who migrated across the land bridge came from eastern Siberia, and that every indigenous person directly descends from that same group of eastern Siberian migrants. The authors note that a neat genetic variant widespread in natives across both continents suggests that the first humans in the Americas came in a single migration of multiple waves from a single source not in waves of migrations from different sources. Previous connections. Biogeographical evidence demonstrates previous connections between North America and Asia. Similar dinosaur fossils occur both in Asia and in North America. For instance the dinosaur Saurolophus was found in both Mongolia and western North America. Relatives of Trudon, Triceratops, and even Tyrannosaurus rex all came from Asia. Fossils in China demonstrate a migration of Asian mammals into North America around 55 million years ago. By 20 million years ago evidence in North America shows a further interchange of mammalian species. Some, like the ancient saber-toothed cats, have a recurring geographical range, Europe, Africa, Asia, and North America. The only way they could reach the New World was by the Bering Land Bridge. Had this bridge not existed at the time, Time, the fauna of the world would be very different. Researchers have started to use molecular phylogenetics to trace the history of faunal exchange and diversification. Through the genetic history of parasites and pathogens of North American ungulates, an international Beringian coevolution project is collaborating to provide material to assess the pattern and timing of faunal exchange and the potential impact of past climatic events on differentiation.